Good morning, everyone. Welcome to uh, our service this morning. It's called uh, a Good Friday. And I believe we are all here to remember the death and the resurrection of our Lord Christ. I think everything started from there. The good news started from there. We are all called Christians today because of the sacrifice that our Lord Jesus made at the cross of Calvary. Let's just stand as we open with a word of prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this beautiful morning. Thank you, God, for the sacrifice that you did for us, our God. We worship you, God. We thank you, God, for no man could do what you did at the cross of Calvary. We are and will be forever grateful, God, for this sacrifice that you did. And Lord God, I pray, Father, that the same way that you died and resurrected, dear God, I pray, Father, that everything that was in us, our God, that was dead, that was idle, not doing anything, our God, I pray, Father, that you resurrect, our God, whatever gifting, our God, whatever thing, good thing that you put in us, our God. I pray, Father, that this time, our God, that we've uh, come, our God, into your presence, our God, that you minister to us, our God, that as we finish our service, we leave this place, our God, our lives never remain the same, our God. It's in the mighty name of Jesus that we pray it. Amen. The Bible says in Romans chapter 5, You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous man. Though for a good man, someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? For if, when we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? Amen. Amen.
Jesus. We thank you for your cross. Thank you for everything that you accomplished on that cross of Calvary, Jesus. We are here this morning just because of what you've done. Oh Lord Jesus, we remember. Oh yes, and we thank you, Lord. And we acknowledge, Lord Jesus. Nobody will do such a like, such a thing like what you did on cross of Calvary, Jesus. Even when we were sinners, even when we were your enemies, Lord, still you died for us, Lord Jesus. What an amazing love. Oh, yes, that's the reason why we are here this morning. And that's the reason why we are alive today. And we just want to say thank you. Thank you for your cross. Thank you for the price that you paid on that cross of Calvary, Jesus. Oh, bearing our shame, bearing our sin, bearing everything for us, oh Lord. You were mocked, you were beaten, oh Jesus, just for us. And here we are with a grateful heart coming before you and offering our praise and offering our worship at your feet, Lord. Oh Jesus, thank you, Lord.
Easter means, oh God. You're worthy. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Because you are King of kings and Lord of lords. Raised from the dead to show us that, Lord God, you have given us life once more. Oh, Jesus. Praise to help me. Death could not hold you. Death could not hold just want us to just say that statement until it becomes alive. Death could not hold you. Say it with me if you feel it. Death could not hold you. No, no, no. Death could not hold you. Oh, say it that the devil may know that he, oh, he's a loser.
powerful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a powerful name it is, nothing can stand against, what a powerful name. God at the right hand of the Father. Lord Jesus, thank you for restoring life in us once more and for taking away the power of sin which is death, mighty Father. We glorify your name because you are King of kings and Lord of lords. Ah! And this day, Lord God, this is the statement that we raise to the heavens. Death could not hold you. Death could not hold you. Death could not hold you. If you see what I see, say it with me this morning. Death could not hold you.
the beauty of his love. What a beautiful name. Jesus.
the veil tore before you. Cause you have no rival. And you have no
church, let's celebrate the King. The name who has no rival, no equal. <laughs> the only name that death could not control. Ah, what a privilege, people, we are this morning. This is the same name we have saved us. The same name that healed us. The same name that is sustaining us. The same name, Jesus, who created everything out of nothing. Hallelujah. What a privilege the, this Good Friday morning. He has given us to come together with a great faith and assurance to worship the living God. Oh, let's worship Him. Let's worship Him. Let's worship Him. Let's worship our Jesus. Let's worship our Father. Let's worship the Holy Spirit. He is here. He is here. He's the reason why we are alive this morning. Oh. Oh. Father, this Good Friday morning, I send your world to remember the historic event which took place 2021 years before in your eternal wisdom and plan and purpose you decided to sacrifice your only begotten son for the redemption of the world to the salvation of us that is the reason even this morning as the saved children of God from the house of prayer sanctuary we can come and worship and say thank you dad for that sacrifice thank you Jesus for obeying to the father's will thank you Lord for that perfect plan you obeyed and this morning we are here we want to say thank you Jesus we want to say thank you father we want to say thank you Holy Spirit this morning, O oh God, as we are here, our cry and our prayer, O oh God. Many of our congregation has traveled to different destinations and places, Lord, to celebrate the Good Friday and Easter with their families and dear ones. We pray wherever they are, your grace will be upon them. Lord, despite this COVID-19 pandemic, wherever your people have gone, this pandemic will not come near to the territory. No accidents, no sicknesses, no infection will take place. You will bring them back safely, O God. Those who are here this morning, we are here also, we speak. The blessing of Jesus upon us. He will protect us, O oh Jesus. Even as a nation of Zambia and the nation around the world and the nations that are represented here. Lord, we speak a blessing this morning. Lord, we ask your word to release to us so that we will be fed, we will be strengthened, we will be refreshed. Lord, we will be, O oh God, Lord, reformed through the word of God. And when we leave this place, we are new person, oh God. Bless all of us. Thank you for your mighty presence in within us, oh God. We take full control of this territory, oh God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Please take your seat. Please take your seat. Praise the Lord and good morning, church. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. All the time. And that is his. Amen. Can we put our hands together and appreciate to God for this beautiful Good Friday. Hallelujah. So one more year. Can you imagine? People last year this time. Even we couldn't gather here. Because it was on a complete lockdown of COVID-19. Many people become a history. But in 2021, God allowed each one of us to have this privilege to come together and remember the sacrifice Jesus has done for us. Can we give one more better clap offering to appreciate our God? Amen. It's good to see you all. I know many of our dear ones have traveled. We pray for God's protection after the service. Any of you are traveling, we also speak God's protection over your life. Just an encouragement. Make sure if you are traveling, 
avoid crowded places and everything and be very careful in observing the, what the Ministry of Health has given to us for our protection, our family's protection, our nation's protection. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless. May the Lord bless. Amen. Are we excited? Can you look at your neighbor and wave him and her and say, I am glad to see you this morning in the house of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I am also glad today our Pastor Peter has been on international tour. The day Jesus died, he resurrected. <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah and uh, sister tina welcome back we all prayed for you we missed you hallelujah amen whoever else who have been not here may the lord bless you amen all of us who are here god's blessing as we how my chairman how is our sister Fine. Okay, our sister Helen and gone an operation. She's recovering well. We all are covering and pray. We will also pray this morning in the sanctuary too. As we welcome everyone, anyone, this is your first time to attend a Sunday service in house or prayer. Would you please stand? We would like to welcome and acknowledge you, anyone here for the first time. I know we have a sister Doreen. She's from PAOG Mongu. She's transferred to Indola. Currently, she is residing at Dolphin Court. Sister, welcome to House of Prayer. May the Lord bless you. She is a part of the POG family. Please take your seat. Amen. Hallelujah. Please take your seat. Thank you. You, you may be seated. We are happy to have you as you have received a welcome card. Make sure you fill your details. After filling the details, make sure you again tear it out, the preparation part, which you filled. You can hand it over to the ushers. Rest you can carry it will help all of us to know uh, more about about to know you more about us so that it will help you may the lord bless you otherwise uh we are blessed and this morning we are going to finish the service on good time 11 30 you will be out of this place i know you may have a different program i will not delay we will take the offering and tithe at the end of the service our sunday service is on Sunday, sharp nine. So please don't miss. And Saturday, tomorrow, we have our intercession. And sorry for the inconvenience. The upstairs, uh, we, the plastering has started. So please, uh, that's why uh, inconvenience. Uh, so please bear with us. Within two to three weeks, the entire sanctuary inside will be looking awesome. And uh, I will be announcing on Sunday, most probably next to two weeks, we will have our midweek service on online. The reason is not COVID. The reason the bricklayers are coming, they Monday to Friday, they will be doing the plastering. So Saturday, we need a clearing, complete cleaning. Then Sunday, we meet. So, But I will announce you on Sunday concerning that. May the Lord bless. Anyone's birthday today, tomorrow, before Sunday, anyone's birthday falls, would you please stand? Anyone's birthday? I know our elder Esther's birthday, Manasseh's birthday, amen. And one of our daughter's parents, Sasha Mulenga's parents, Joseph and Nadasha, she requested us to pray for, we dedicated a few months before uh, Sasha Mulenga here today, she's turning one year so the parents asked us to pray for her too, amen those who are married here, your wedding anniversary also falls today, tomorrow and on Sunday, would you please stand we wanted to pray for you Amen. Let's pray for this dear ones. Father, we thank you for this awesome day. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful, mighty servants of God. You have blessed us. We thank you for our elder Esther Joseph. We thank you for our brother Manasseh. We thank you for our precious daughter, Sasha Mulenga, whom you have added one more year into their life in this week. We pray, God, God's amazing blessing and the promises, Lord, will be fulfilled upon their life. This season to reign over every impossibility through Christ Jesus. They will see the hand of God 
God in every dimension and uh, no affliction, no sorrows will come to their territory, oh God. This year they will be a blessed and also with many, many blessed years, oh God. So in the name of Father, under the Son and the Holy Spirit, we bless these wonderful servants of God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's appreciate to God for this wonderful people. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Amen. As we mentioned, we will take our tithe and offering at the end of the service. This morning, let's quickly turn to our Bible to listen to the word of God. The reason I am moving fast, I know all of you have made a commitment for the long weekend, even this afternoon. I don't want to delay you. Turn to Isaiah 53. Isaiah chapter 53. Isaiah chapter 53. Let's read verses 1 to 12. Isaiah 53, 1 to 12, that is the entire chapter of Isaiah, which is also was prophetically spoken many, many years before the birth of Jesus about the suffering of Jesus. Hallelujah. Isaiah 53 reads, Who has believed our message and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shoot and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected my man, a man of sorrow and familiar with the suffering. Like one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows, yet we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him, and afflicted. But he has pierced for our transgression, he has crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. We all like sheep have gone astray, each of us has turned to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shears is silent, so he did not open his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away, and who can speak of his de descendants? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgression of my people he was stricken. He was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death. Though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth, yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. And though the Lord make his life a guilt offering, he will see his offspring and prolong his days, and this will of, and the will of the Lord will prosper in his hand after the suffering of his soul. He will see the light of life and be satisfied. By his knowledge, my righteous servant will justify many, and he will bear their iniquities. Therefore, I will give him a portion among the great. And he will divide the spoils with the strong, because he poured out his life unto death and was numbered with the transgressors. For he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. May the transgressors, may the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. One of the few events about the Christianity is well known in the world. One Christmas, everyone, if you go to the part of the world, it may not be a Christian nation, but everyone knows what is Christmas is all about. Other thing makes people to know is the Good Friday. Many people know about the Good Friday, talks about the death of Jesus. Then other thing people know about the Easter Sunday. 
and if you look at it generally universally not i'm talking in house of prayer especially mainline churches or other churches uh, it's because of the covid 19 this year and last year every church gathering has affected negatively otherwise if you go to ask any episcopal churches main churches as three days in the year which church is fully packed is the december good friday and easter because people christians like to celebrate the birth they like to cry for the crucifixion and the death then they come and rejoice the easter sunday and the world rejoices in easter sunday very 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 differently hallelujah you can see yesterday evening i met to someone he couldn't even stand properly when he couldn't speak i asked ah, what happened my friend why are you not able to know i am sad because tomorrow is a good friday and make him sad it is not a sad he has taken something to make him sad this is how the world is celebrate and remember but that is not the reason why we are here that is why this is the only fry or only historic date in the world which proves the death of a person called as a good event all of us we have experienced family members of our dear ones passed away but none of us write it in the history that was the good day even whenever that day comes we think my god why but the history records around the world this 2021 years uh, years a boy ago the day jesus died was a good because that was the purpose he came that's why this morning we are here hallelujah i can preach if that good friday had not happened that salvation has not reached who knows i would have not even been alive look at all of us who are here you are smiling you have made it possible to come to the sanctuary this morning because you know 10 5 20 30 40 years ago you had an experience an encounter with the lord who died for our sin as a day experience you want to come and appreciate god thank you lord for what you have done into my life so this morning next to 30 min 25 minutes i just wanted to encourage you a message i have titled a simple message the hope of good friday the hope of good friday hallelujah the death jesus gave the world the universe the mankind a hope that no one in the world could give no power in the world no leaders in the world could live all of them came and gave hope but they died before some of them fulfill they became a history but the hope of the good friday does not just limit on this universe the hope of the good friday is beyond this universe that is the eternal life one who came to this world and died for our sin and say i am dying but after three days there is another historic event come then the resurrection day not only finishing after that i am going to ascend into heaven and i am going to prepare a place for you what do you lost i am redeeming i am giving you back so that's the hope of good friday today that's why we are smiling that's why we are rejoicing that's why we could worship god the hope of good friday the prophet isaiah in isaiah 53 many many years before even the birth of jesus was taken place he saw prophet saw the coming of uh, messiah the servant of god and to re- accomplish god's will what he need to do he must suffer so isaiah 53 if you read even from the uh, 52 chapter 13 if you are using a bible with the subtitles it shows the suffering and the glory of the servant and if you know in it is the talking about the christ suffering christ death so what is the hope of the good friday hope of good friday 
turn to the scripture which we read only because of the time just simple it's not any controversial theological message everything you know today this morning my uh, task is to just encourage you just encourage you the hope of the good friday 53 isaiah 53 verse 3 says he was despised and rejected by man a man of sorrows and familiar with the suffering like one from whom men hide their faces he was despised and we esteemed him not the first to hope of a good friday is we have a god who understand every dimension of human suffering we have a god who understands every dimensions of human suffering 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 if you read that verse isaiah 53 verse 3 prophet isaiah precisely printing certain verses in his prophecy especially six important verses a vocabulary which connects six kinds of suffering a human being on this earth go through I wanted to look at very simply and very briefly so that is what is the hope the good friday we have a god who understand what we go through this even morning look at your neighbor and say my neighbor my god knows what you are going through hallelujah that no this is the most important thing the unique thing the only thing which christianity has compared to other religion for other religions if or you wanted to present your suffering to your god to make him or her, the god to know have to do certain rituals you may have to travel certain places you may have to go to certain destination but we have a god here what is the god he is here who knows what you are going through hallelujah tell your neighbor i am confident my neighbor hallelujah i am confident i am confident this morning we wanted to look at that 6246 dimensions of suffering isaiah 53 which he explains to us in this time in this good friday one he says let's read he was despised god can you imagine god who created the universe went through the experience of being despised what is the word simple word all of you are online your mobile you can just click on your uh, dictionary in the google it should despised means regard as unworthy or regard as unworthy or one's notice or consideration or or in a simple word it says you are not even worthy of notifying this good friday a hope god is releasing upon you because of the various things you have been going through in your life is people despised you people is despising you people are neglecting you people are avoiding you people are bypassing you there is a hope hallelujah what is the hope we have a god who has gone through that suffering hallelujah that's why when you suffer when if you are a christian you always smile when there is a storm you smile when there is a t- trouble you smile hallelujah you are despised then second he says you are where he was despised and rejected rejected what is rejected mean not given approval or acceptance jesus went through a season of rejection season of rejection are you rejected are you rejected 
because of who you are because of what you have gone through because what you are experiencing are you rejected are you rejected we have a god hope of christmas oh, sorry hope of good friday not a christmas hope of a good friday why jesus was rejected hallelujah that is why if you are a child of god when people reject you because who you are what you are going through still you can smile look at your neighbor even though you are mask up smile hallelujah tell your neighbor i am smiling not everything is perfect i am smiling because i have a hope hallelujah i have a hope beloved child of god you can smile during this good friday whatever going through because my jesus was rejected hallelujah third words is you see sorrow and it is let's read that word it's very important a man of sorrow how do you feel how do brother god finish in dano if someone calls if i calls you god free a man of sorrow do you feel happy no if pastor peter calls me reverend joseph a man of sorrow the moment he comes i will walk through that door because i don't want to hear that word i don't want to hear the word hear the word that has been an adjective added to jesus suffering for you and at say a man or woman of sorrow are you in that category on this good friday you have a hope in this good friday what my jesus knows what sorrow you are going through hallelujah concerning our own life concerning your family concerning our health concerning what what happening in your life the are you sorrowful sometime many have you seen people who one who is smiling but the smile looks like a crying because what you are they are going through inside i pray if you are that kind of person may the hope of good friday reach you hallelujah the, next word is more interesting in the next word say a man of sorrow and familiar with the suffering not only really just a suffering hallelujah familiar hallelujah i don't know i have you heard that when you go when you are going through a some situation and you went to your friend say my brother my sister my friend pray for me i am going through this then immediately that friend says my friend take heart five years before i also went through i know the pain you are going through i am familiar with what you are going through the immediately you hear that word gives a hope what is the hope oh five years before my friend went through with this now he or she is still alive that gives me a hope i will be alive ah what a wonderful bow jesus says uh, the prophet say here is a man familiar with the sufferings hallelujah what is a familiar with the suffering that means what what kind of suffering is existing in this universe he is a familiar beloved mom beloved dad brother sister young people my children including myself whatever you are going through in the hope of a good friday he is familiar with that your pastor may not be familiar your elder may not be familiar your deacon may not be familiar your spouse your husband your wife your parents your children your sibling may not be familiar with what you are going through they may come and give you comfort and sympathize and can counsel you but if we have a god on good friday is familiar with everything is it a death is it an accident is it a calamity is it a failure there is a good the hope of good friday familiar then he says the other says like one from whom men 
hide their faces have you gone through that situation another thing a prophet saying when you see people hide their face it is like a, now we are on 21 century when uh, let me use morgan when morgan calls what to do i look have you seen i have seen including you have seen my also i also do that someone calls it's ringing you are not attending so if pastor tani is sitting next to me and she saw pastor Isabel, no i will attend later that later has a two meaning either I will call the person later. Other one, I will say, why this fellow is disturbing me? Why this fellow is disturbing me? And have you seen, when, some, when you are walking, you saw somebody is coming, the person suddenly takes the phone. Even there is no phone call. Just, hello, how are you? How are you? Then after you press, you, then he comes back. Hiding their face. Are you going through the hope of Good Friday? The hope of Good Friday. People hid their face. One more than says, and uh, well, let's like one who men hide their faces. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Not esteemed. What is means he has not admired. He was not uh, a appreciated who he is who he was the purpose the purpose he came to this world was not admired or accepted or supported but we have a hope in good friday maybe you are in a company maybe you are in an office maybe you are in a ministry and the purpose god has brought through you maybe you are in the church god precisely told you this is the purpose god brought and nobody is admiring nobody is not desiring, no notifying nobody is supporting you are there everybody is hiding their faith don't give up the good friend gives you hope why my jesus is familiar with this even though they esteemed him not the god the father who sent has accomplished that is why the familiar scripture we always read in hebrews chapter 4 verses 14 to 16 encourages us hebrews chapter 4 verse 14 to 16 encourages us therefore since we have a great high priest who has gone through the heavens jesus the son of god let us firmly hold firmly to the faith we profess why for we do not have a high priest who have we have we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses but we have one who has been tempted in every way then the apostle continue just as we are tempted in every way just as we are yeah. then he continues yet to us without sin let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need since we have such a high priest as a hope in the good friday today whatever the listed or not listed suffering you are going through this hope gives you the grace to approach the throne of grace with confidence you are it's like i am going to meet i'm approaching my elder divya budia for 50 quarter i have a full confidence the moment i ask her she will give me if that if she can do that how much the god who knows everything the hope of good friday we have a God who understands every dimension of human suffering. Second, second, we have the hope of a good friend. Not only we have a God who understands, we have a God who has taken all our burdens. The Lord, we have a God who has taken all our burdens. Look at your neighbor, that wonderful person who is sitting next to you. Look at his or her eyes and eyes. 
and look at the him or her and say, my friend, why are you damaging that chair carrying that burden? Tell him or her, my friend, why are you damaging the chair you are sitting by carrying that heavy burden? Huh. Not, I'm not just talking about the church chair, even at your home, even at your workplace. Hallelujah. Have you seen that uh, article, that post always comes, many times it comes in the social media, WhatsApp, from the childhood. There was an old mama who was carrying a firewood, fire, collecting the firewood on a heavy, and a man was driving a jeep. He passed by, he felt sympathy, told mama, let me give you a lift to get in the jeep. She got in the jeep and he still kept the firewood on the head. Then the man, after driving a few kilometers, looked, Why? no, no, you have helped me. I don't want to give you all the burdens. She said, it is on your head or down. It is the same. I declare to you, hope of Good Friday is we have a God who has taken all our burdens. Let's look at Isaiah verse 4 and 5. Say, surely... He took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows. Yet we consider him stricken by God, smitten by him and afflicted. He was pierced for our transgression. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds we are healed. Hallelujah. What are the things he said? Surely he took up our infirmities. What is infirmities? A physical or mental weaknesses. A burden. Many of us, when we get sick, it's become a problem. When you see some, they say, what did he do? He did not say, he said, the words sure, he took up our infirmities. Now, this is the problem with us. This is the problem. What is happening? God wanted to take our infirmities, but we are holding on. We are pulling. We are pulling back. Today, Good Friday gives you a hope. Are you a burden with the infirmities? This Good Friday gives you a hope. What? Every infirmities from my life, my body, my generation, my career. The Lord Jesus on the Good Friday, he took. He took. Now, I want you to understand. Prophet Isaiah prophesying hundreds and hundreds of years before Jesus suffering and in that time what did he say? surely he took up he's also even prophesying the event that happened in the past that means in eternity before we all were born into this world in this time and space what our royal son will go through Pastor Tani will go through whatever Sister Agnes will go through, whatever Sister Tina will go through, whatever Masali will go through, whatever Deacon Costa will go through, whatever Reverend Chilasha will go through. All the infirmities and burdens, what did he took it in eternity? Now, what is my duty? My duty to receive that revelation and approach the throne of grace with confidence and say, Dad, thank you for taking. And what happens now us, even though God has taken, we are still holding. I pray in the name of Jesus. If any of us are still feeling, facing that infirmity, let the devil know the Lord has taken on the cross. Hallelujah. Yes. Second says, not only took the infirmity. Now, the problem is when you take, will you put it back? Then the next word say, he carried our sorrow. You look at the first thing we looked at. A man of sorrow. A man of sorrow. What did he did? He carried the things that cause you to be sorrowful. Took, carried, hallelujah. Now, I want you to understand this simple Sunday school principle. If God has taken this burden from 
royal son. And he has carried from me who can go to God and get it back. Anyone in the world, we just sang in the worship, there is no rival, no equal. There is no name. Who has? Today I declare it in the name of Jesus, the hope of Good Friday. Hallelujah. What is the hope of Good Friday? Is it that premature death happening in your family become a burden? He says he took and carried. No one can come and bring it by. Is it that sickness, that incurable diseases, that constant attack that is giving you a burden? Jesus said on the cross he took it and carried. Who can bring God to him and bring it back? No power in this world. Is it that financial burden? Is it that health issue? Is it that spiritual issue? Is it that marriage struggle you are going through and trying to smile but nothing? But Jesus said to Tavasai before the creation of the world even when the prophet Isaiah prophesied that took in eternity he took that issue from you, that burden from you, and he he has carried, hallelujah. That's why the Isaiah 53 and says, he's become an intercessor. He carried. What is he doing? He's interceding for Royanson. Let my son Royanson's eyes be open. Let him see that I have carried. He is free. He is healed. He is delivered. He is well. I am with Day, on this Good Friday, on the 2nd of April 2021, I want you to house up, beloved. I want you to know every sorrows he carried. Oh, hallelujah. He carried. If he carried, let's smile. Hallelujah. Let's smile. Hallelujah. Let's wipe. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 to 23. Matthew 7, 21 to 23. Says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. But only he who does the will of my father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you away from me. You evil doers. The reason I read that scripture, if you read, in, any of you are using the King James Version, the last part of verse 23, where an ivy says, Away from me, you evildoers. In King James says, Depart from me, you that work iniquity. What is iniquity? I'm not going to go into a theological definition. Every simple definition of uh, if you have not iniquity is doing our own will instead of God's will. That's iniquity. Just a simple thing. Doing our own will instead of God's will. So you are going through that challenges. So doing your own will instead of God's will. It become an iniquity for generation to generation in your life. As a result, what you have been going through. I have a good news and hope of Good Friday. God has carried that iniquity in you from you. I release. May you and I become a people who fulfill the God's will. Thirdly and done next to five minutes. Hallelujah. The hope of Good Friday. We have a God who understands every hue, every dimension of your suffering. We have a God who has taken all our burdens. Then we have a God who loves us in our weaknesses. We have a God who loves you and I in our weaknesses. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, does, God did not love us by no thinking this fellow is perfect. He loved us with our own weaknesses. Look at um, verse 6, Isaiah 53, 6. We all like sheep have gone astray. Each of us 
have turned to his own way and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. That, what does that mean? The will we imposed on God's will as a result where I ran away from God's presence and purpose like a sheep that has gone astray. What did God say? He loved us. That's why when Apostle Paul understood this revelation, great revelation, even the scripture which we read in the bulletin, Romans chapter 5 verse 6 to 8 say, you see at just the right time when we were still powerless. Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous man. Though for a good man, someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrated his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus hated the sin but loved the sinners. He was not against your weaknesses. That's why he came in us in our own human form. And then he came and gave us a hope on the cross. Beloved said, dad and mom and brothers and sisters, as you are listening my voice, I want you to know people may not be happy to see you because of your A, B, C, D weaknesses. But I want you to know my God loved you with your weaknesses. Hallelujah. And not only with your weaknesses, who you are, he loved. Hallelujah. There is that God loved you and I as you and I are. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a wonder, what a hope God has given us. The hope of a good Friday. He loved. You may not be. You may not be an educated man. You may not be an educated woman. You may not know how to preach, how to speak. You may not have a very big, but God loved you the way he loved the highest, richest man. You may be a poor in the eyes of people, but my Lord loved you as he loved the richest man because his measures of love is not based on the earthly standard. His measures of love based on the agape love, the sacrificial love, which he he has shown on the cross. That is why when David understood that dimension of God's love, he quoted from the Deuteronomy where the God said in First Chronicles chapter 17 verse 20, he said, there is no one like you. Hallelujah. Oh, and there is no God but you. But we have heard with our own ears today on 2nd of April 2021 as we remember the sacrificial death of Jesus. House of prayer if you experience uh, we have a God who understands uh, all the dimension of suffering I am going through and you understood we have a God who has taken and all my burdens and you understood we have a God who loves me in our weaknesses. We are able to say, sit together raise with David and say there is no one like you my Jesus. Oh Lord there is no God like but you. We have heard with our own ears and we have experienced it. Hope of Good Friday. What our worship team, you can come. What are you going through? What challenges are you facing? What is making you to cry, scream? Are you despised? Are you rejected? Are you familiar, full of sorrow? Familiar with the suffering? The moment people see you, they're hiding their faces. They're not admiring you. Hope of the Good Friday. Hope of Good Friday. Hallelujah. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has gone through the heavens, he has gone through heavens. I wanted to mention the heavens. Word that heavens means the one who was existing in heaven eternally decided to leave the heaven come down to the another heavenly of earth 
lived like you and I went through the, all the suffering and went to the another heavenly of grave stayed there three days and on the third day resurrected again came back to the another heavenly of earth after that what does he he goes back to the his original place of heavenly sin the, with the right hand of the father and sitteth and interceding for you and I. So the God who is our home has gone to every corner of the existence of the universe, every heavenly. That is why there is no power, no authority, no principalities, no titles, no dominions cannot touch you because our hope is on the Good Friday God who died. Shall we all stand? Shall we all stand? Hallelujah. Close your eyes wherever you are. Tell the Lord, Lord, today. Hallelujah. Thank you for the new hope you have given to me. Thank you for the new grace you have given to me. Thank you Lord for the hope of Good Friday. Lord whatever I am going through I know you have taken and carried. Taken means taken. It is not with you. Is, are you worried with that sickness? The Lord says he has taken. Not only taken he has carried. It is not with you. It is not on your body. It is not in your family. Is it troubling you spiritually it's a spiritual Lord says I have taken on the cross I have taken on the cross and he has carried and passed through the heavenlies hallelujah and you set you free to go and be blessed father we thank you thank you holy spirit for the day thank you Jesus thank you holy spirit may your people be blessed in Jesus name amen and amen and amen as you are standing, if you have come with a tithe and offering, we have an opportunity to give. Ushers, please. Father, we thank you for your congregation and your sacrificial and faithful giving. Lord, what a wonderful people you brought to the house of prayer. Even in this time, they were very faithful in giving. May the Lord open the floodgates of heaven. Anyone this morning has nothing to give, today will be a miracle. And every single coin will be used for the expansion of your kingdom in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, church, for your sacrificial and faithful giving. Hallelujah. As the shirts are passing, if you have taken a tithe and offering, just hold on after if you have dropped to close your eyes meditate on the hope of good friday what the lord has done for you what the lord has spiritually materially physically relationally what he has done for you maybe i've been carrying that heaviness i've been carrying that illness i've been that uh, physical some inability maybe that issue in in your marriage, in your children, in your spouse. Maybe something that is in your mind, in your heart. Or maybe in the company, in the office, wherever you are. That today, the hope of a Good Friday, He has taken and carried away. He has taken and carried away. Maybe a constant spiritual attack. He has taken and carried away. And the one who carried away, gone through the heavenly gone through the heavenlies where no one can come and take it no one can come and bring it and today on the good friday tell the lord thank you for taking that away from me that pain away from me that sickness away from me that burden away from me that habit away from me that sin away from me oh that Oh, oh Lord, doubt away from me, that confusion away from me, that fear away from me, that generational causes away from me, that has been haunting my destiny, my generation away from me. You have taken so that as the Hebrew authors say, today we are approaching the throne of grace with confidence so that we, we can meet our niche. We are confident, oh God. We are confident. May your people go with that confidence with the hope of Good Friday. They are blessed. They are blessed with the hope of Good Friday, O God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Amen.
Hallelujah. I sorry I forgot to pray for Sister Helen. Father, we thank you for the successful operation for our dear Sister Helen and we know she's well and sound and we pray a quick and fast recovery and she will come and testify God's faithfulness. Amen and amen and amen. Have a wonderful weekend. See you Sunday, nine hours to remember and celebrate the resurrection of our Jesus. God bless you. Enjoy the final song from the worship team. Amen.